Hello and welcome to another piece of supplemental face content. Uh, this one is the long uh, teased and awaited viewing of MVP2 Most Vertical Primate uh, as led by Andrew Panton. My name is Jeff Ramsey and somewhere around here is Gavin Free as well. Uh, he, he's known, known as our second favorite British guy behind uh, Dr. Peabody. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> take it away. Uh, this is MVP2. We're about to start. We just did the presentation. I want to know how long did that take? Was that like 15 minutes? How long did that end up going? Yeah, you were right around with your whole presentation. You were right around 15. And you can watch that on our YouTube channel. Yep. Yes, you yeah. can. So this is MVP2. As I talked about before, this is the movie that convinced me that I could immediately start skateboarding, like with no no <laughs> practice at all. I just I got a skateboard because of this film attempted to do it once, bailed really hard, did the splits, never skateboarded again. Uh, that's my journey, but I'm hoping that you both enjoy this MVP2 journey. I haven't watched this movie in probably like 18 years. Didn't so you also I, flip off someone in a car? Is that related? What I happened with that? that? No, that's a completely different story. Oh, okay. That is, that, is, that was, I saw somebody flip somebody off in a car and I didn't know what it meant, so I just oh. stood in front of my house and I waited for the next car to drive by, and I flipped them off and then gauged their reaction on whether it was a positive or negative. For some reason, I thought you had a skateboard with you when you did that. No, I did not. <laughs> okay. I probably should have. I, I wonder what episode... I feel like that that you mentioning that you lo decided to learn to skate from the monkey in MVP2 must have been like in the first 20 episodes of F*** Face. It's got to be 16. very... Oh, yeah, that's possible. Very early on in F*** Face lore... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm excited that after these many years and 127 yes. episodes of the main show, we're finally we're finally getting to dig into such an inspirational piece of content. I'm excited. There's some some good cameos in this. There is some. There's at least one character in this movie that uh, you'll have additional context for going into MVP two, and it's not who you expect. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I don't expect any of them. So. Well, you know, we had a talk. You know that somebody else from the first one is in this oh, one. Yeah. So I'm saying it's yeah, a yeah. different person that right. returns in a more official way. I, I wonder if this is even going to show up. Oh, it does. Do you guys have any uh, any guess on what the domestic, what the worldwide gross on this movie is? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say six million dollars worldwide. Uh, it opened at ninety nine thousand five hundred eighteen dollars <laughs> opening weekend. Uh, it, 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 domestic and worldwide gross were the same. I guess it didn't go wide. Uh, it, the movie grossed one point two four eight million dollars. Yeah, I was gonna say I remember seeing the first MVP in a movie theater, and I watched this one on VHS because I yeah. think it went straight <laughs> it's a there. Straight so video. This Don't is think a the straight to video sequel. The sequel did not get a, a theatrical release. Sorry, I couldn't <laughs> <laughs> what was the budget? Oh shit! I just closed it. Let me see. hold on. Uh, it I don't has know if it to listed be it. I don't know if it listed it. Let's see. Uh, Most Valuable Primate two thousand. It is listed under comedy family sport. Uh, does not list the budget. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. MVP two budget for most vertical primate two million dollars <laughs> USD. Ooh, oh, really? They gave that movie well, to us, and they paid eight hundred grand to do so. It costs a lot of money to book Bob Birdquest. He's a lot. He's a big star. Bob Birdquest. Bob Birdquest in this? Are you spoiling? Yes, it? yes. Uh, okay. he's, you know, it's in the trailer. I don't. Know. I don't think it's or, or in the credits and mean trailer. Fair enough. You'll see him quick. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, I am so ready for this. Okay. The beginning uh, so, of this movie is so good. So I've rented this on Amazon Prime. Well, I guess Amazon, uh, because you can watch it for free on Amazon with ads, but in order to give you the full unfettered experience, there are no ads, so I've paid the $2, I believe, to uh, rent this. Very kind um, of you. What's going to happen is that you can rent it as well. I think you can watch it for free on Tubi, but uh, syncing it up with us is going to be a headache, so... If there are ads there, you might want to just go for MVP2 on Amazon. I'm going to count down three, two, one, now. And then on now, you're going to hit play along with us. And then that will have you synced up. Yeah, well, let's should see if we, it works. Uh -huh. Should we try to, should we endeavor not to hit pause at any point and just to go all the oh, way we, through just to make it? Yes, we should not hit pause at all. Okay, just making sure. Like everybody understands that. Okay. Mm hmm. You got you good. You see my screen. We're good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ready to okay. Go. We're gonna have to update these totals now. Box office. Can, can you test your audio? Okay. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll play it. We'll start it, and then I will. Oh, sounds it. great. Good. Sounds <clears throat> great. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sounds hang. great. So, 
So there's that. We're gonna. I'm gonna pause it right at the very beginning. Jog it back. We'll get it going. Here we go. This okay, has ads in it. I paid for it to not have ads. I'm just saying. It said. It said free v free with ads, and then. But I paid uh, for it. Then I'm seeing ad breaks. <laughs> I've paid for it. Wait, you uh, you you paid? <laughs> you ordered the two, the two dollars standard def version instead no, of no 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 no. I paid I paid for the high definition version. Okay, okay. Are you on the right account? Well, yes. Well, I have not watching Eric. Eric. I have not left the fucking page. Uh, this is the I ordered it and I did not close this window. Maybe, maybe if you refresh it. Yeah, maybe you got to do a refresh. Jesus Christ! That was you didn't so do it for silly. MVP one, did you? No, it again. I didn't close this window. <laughs> I didn't know this was produced by Airbud Entertainment. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Yeah, Robert okay. Vince has directed all those movies. We're gonna get it guy. started, and if there are ads, I'm gonna jump out a window. Uh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> uh, let's do it. I'm gonna around. I'm gonna jog it up. We're gonna get it. See, no ads. Oh there yeah, we go. there you go. There we cool. go. Cool. All right, there here we, we go. go. On now. Are you ready for MVP two? Oh, I'm so yeah, ready. Yeah, audience, if you bought this, be sure to refresh. <laughs> Before this moment. <laughs> Don't sit on the page and go, surely this will be the way to do it, because it's not. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, now. Oh, that sounds great, Eric. Actually, can we do, do, do this in. another time? <laughs> Fuck off, yeah. <laughs> I'm watching MVP2 right now. You can go if you have to. If Gavin said, if Gavin said, no, seriously, I have a film crew outside, I forgot. <laughs> I would not be surprised. <laughs> it's like, I had to shoot a TV show. Oh, it's Robert did Vince Robert film. Vince direct the first one as well? Yes, he did. He's directed, I think, every Airbud movie, like oh, all wow. of the Airbud entertainment. I think he, that's all he does. This guy's the Steven Spielberg of animal movies. <laughs> yes, so it's actually is. just called MVP again. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is this El Simeon? I guess it is. Yeah. I don't remember uh, it starting this way. Oh. So all the it's monkeys in the monkey, well, all the chimpanzees in the nature preserve wear human clothes in nature. I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> that's I believe Jack and his brother Louis. I want to say. Wait, he had a brother this whole time. Uh, yeah, but it's not at all important to the first film. He gets introduced in the second one. So only two of them wear clothes. <laughs> Just yeah, I Do guess. Do you think the other monkeys hate them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Bob Burnquist. Going ape. <laughs> oh. That company no longer exists. I wonder if they're still in business. <laughs> no, they're not. We will never get movies like this made ever again. No, yeah, isn't this kind of y'all have seen Nope, right? Isn't this kind of how that movie started? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. So, Andrew, are you say this is like a good shit film, or is it a shit film, or is this genuinely a good film? Well, as a ten-year-old, in your memory. In my memory, this was just a genuine great movie, but I think this is a, a shit good film. But we'll find out if it's I just a shit film. Dunstan, I would classify it as shit but good. No, Dunstan's just good. Yeah. I don't. Mm. I think Dunstan's just good. I do think though we need to come up with a rating system, and when this is set, all said and done, we need to decide which we liked better: MVP oh, two or the tuxedo. Yeah, him and his brother read a NHL magazine. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's funny I don't remember I remember this movie opening completely differently <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they missed the, they missed the hockey life and they missed you yeah, clearly and Louis wants to be involved in the hockey life this is insane to watch <laughs> <laughs> it's got the old nuggets outfit <laughs> <laughs> yeah he is <laughs> he doesn't like it well, who can Jack has him? a mean slap shot ZHL. Nobody watches the ZHL. Like that guy even, on the right, that's exactly where my forehead is going. <laughs> <laughs> Does his shirt just say drill and there's a yeah, picture of a drill bit? Yep. It's such a 90s shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a like 90s skate culture shirt. So there's a team called the Simeons that are unrelated to the Nuggets or the Simeon El, El Simeon Nature Preserve. Yes. That's a lot of coincidence. There is a lot of coincidence. <laughs> 
Dude, there is oh, nothing get... better than a hot dog at a game. Do you get hot dogs on the ice? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, was she so... in the first one at all at the end? Like when he went home? Which one's Jack? He's the bigger one. Hey, Gav, I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you think Andrew's still here? I haven't heard him in a while. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> okay, just making sure. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm really glad that we can't pause. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew's just dropped us off at the movie. and. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be around in what 90 minutes happened? in the station wagon to pick us up. Hello? Oh no! So I am so well, sorry. it sucks that our <coughs> it sucks that our monkey expert isn't here to answer. Because <laughs> I know he wasn't an important part of the first one, but I'd love a little more backstory into Jack's family and if his brother. <laughs> oh, sounds like we made. See if his fucking. <laughs> How is this possible? Oh, he just got drafted to the ZHL. What? Oh no. 502 bad gateway? I thought that he but, skateboarded. Does he play hockey in this? Maybe that's how he gets to start. So wait, he didn't know he was getting drafted? I don't he know. Did, maybe that's why he was watching. He was hoping to get drafted. When did he apply? What is happening? Did he send it an application? <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet Louis did. Louis was like, I can't handle this hockey life. I need Jack to go live his dream and stop throwing apples at me. So I'm gonna oh, no. I'm gonna make him eligible for hockey. What is cloud? Uh, oh. Nick is positing that maybe Jack had a career-ending injury, but <laughs> <laughs> but we we saw him leave. Do you? I like his shoes. I like that the whole point of the last movie was getting back to where he's from, getting back to the uh -huh. preserve where he belongs. Yeah, where he belongs, and now it's like, all right, come on back, sequel money. So there's a lot of, I wonder if uh, similarities to his real life situation, right? Like the, the monkey, I don't remember his name now, if it was Bernie. Bobby, Ber Bernie, oh, the I monkey Bernie, the, or rather the chimpanzee Bernie, he oh, eventually back? left and went to the, what zoo did Andrew say? Oakland. Oakland, Oakland Zoo. Do you think that Bernie, the chimpanzee, like watches TV at the Oakland Zoo and sees Hello? his old career go by as like <laughs> acting monkeys and gets sad and is like, oh, this is a this is a this is a hard parallel to live with. And, and then his just, agent keeps calling. He's like, yeah. go back. He's like, no. I can't, I can't do, do it. it. I can't I can't. Oh Andrew, you missed it. He just got drafted to the ZHL. Hello? Where did you go? <laughs> Why did you leave? I didn't I I I heard Jeff say, isn't it weird that Andrew isn't talking? And I had never stopped talking the entire time. Oh, and I was oh like, yeah. We never heard what? you. just thought we were talking over you? Well, no, I was talking in between both of you. <laughs> and it just flowed. It still made sense. It did not There's flow. No, <laughs> there was no talking. <laughs> from my perspective, everything was like flowing fine. And like, we're all going back and forth. And like, it just coincidentally lined up. I'm hopping back into the... What's happening? What do you mean? He got... He just got drafted to the ZHL. Uh, you've... You've told us this is a movie about monkey skateboarding, but he's only, it's just been a hockey movie. Yeah, it's pretty hockey heavy. I don't know what I watched, because Simeon. Is, I don't remember him being drafted. He got drafted by this guy. He didn't, he didn't even know he had uh, made himself eligible for the draft. Was he a first round pick? Where did he go? Oh, no, he was like in the 11th round. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Well. And he got drafted to the Seattle Simeons. There hasn't been a lot of clarity on that career-ending injury yet, so who knows? That's true. They don't even know about him? <laughs> no, I think the goalie does. The guy at the nose ring or and the same actor playing a different role, which appears to be the case. That suggests he's, uh, more, he's like a human and a half. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, it's Gretzky. Gretzky was 99. Yeah, he so was he's great. half of... Yeah, he's, he's better he's than... Slightly better, better than, than one Gretzky. Half, one, half, one half of one point better than Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. That's a dilemma. That sucks for him. <laughs> you play for the Simeons, what? you fucking idiot. That's where the Canucks play. I want to play for the carjackers. <laughs> 
Did you watch a lot of Bruce and Clark hockey news hour when you were a kid, Andrew? I would have if it was available. That was a real thing. Is that is that the Janet? Is that Darren? No. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Monkey on the bench. <laughs> These movies were made less than a year apart. I bet they never even stopped production. They just like gave everybody new clothes and just started up with the sequel. <laughs> They quickly filmed another movie before dropping him back yeah. off. Of the, <laughs> they're like the guy. They're like Darren's. Like, what do you want me to be in the new one? They're like, oh, you're actually the AD in this film. You're not in the movie. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So he's on the bench. Yeah, he's on the bench. Well, yeah, you he's right all the time in hockey. You have different lines. I don't know why that guy's wearing a headset. I've never seen anyone wear a headset on the bench that's coaching. Oh, they all oh, have headsets. There you go. <laughs> what is this guy's <laughs> voice? <laughs> well, I can see the headlines already. This guy is how every fan interprets their owner yeah. across like every sport. <laughs> oh shit. These other are animals don't give a fuck. His, is that, are those his parents? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't understand how all these people aren't aware of Jack. Like, It's not like there's a huge market for famous right. championship winning hockey chimps. Oh, that guy's off the ice. And you're on a monkey team. Like, Yeah, you're on the Simeons. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so it is a hockey movie, Andrew? Mm, no. Wait, it's, pretty, it's very possible it's, we're watching uh, yeah. the wrong movie. <laughs> no, this is. <laughs> what if we find out that Andrew has never seen MVP two before? <laughs> no. I don't remember there being this much hockey in it. But look, he scored immediately. Sc yeah. Well, it was an assist. Oh, right. now, now his brother wants to play hockey. <laughs> yeah. Ah. ah. <laughs> no shit, he won a championship. <laughs> Very convincing. Oh. This monkey's pretty good at skating. Yeah, he's not bad. Better than I ever was. I, I just don't know why. It's like, <laughs> this is the right movie because Bob Burnquist is in it. It was yeah. in the <laughs> credit. The thing is, they're doing so much work to explain these minor characters. <laughs> like, everyone gets a shine, but, like, we're going to watch them skateboard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to rip this guy's balls off. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you, know, you know how strong a chimpanzee is? <laughs> There's Hot Dog. It's <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I don't know. Oh, shit, through the legs. I wonder if that's ever happened in the NHL. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like the puck cam. It was a nice. They touch. just keep reusing the same celebration. Him in the corner. Look at all these women he's got. <laughs> I hate. <that. laughs> it's my favorite character. <laughs> my drill sergeant used to hit us in the head like that in basic training, but he had a big metal stop sign that he would whack you with. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think the worst part of this is that the owner was correct. <laughs> what? <Like it> was... <laughs> He's Seattle's newest hero. So this takes place in Seattle. I wonder, my daughter is the world's biggest Grey's Anatomy fan. Uh -huh. And she was watching the, she was explaining to me how, uh, I don't know, all 19 seasons of it today in the car. I wonder if they exist in the same universe in Seattle. Are you allowed to stand on the goal in, in ice hockey? No. No. 
I mean, that's, he's just cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, high five, yeah. Sammy is hammering the storm. I like these bootleg Philly jerseys. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's the same post once again. He does it again. Uh, what the? F oh, uh, he's, grooming. He's yeah, he's yeah. a great teammate. Get the bugs out of the back hair. That looks like you without a shirt on, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the same team. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. S'il vous plaît. Nobody interviews, like, somebody on the Lakers is like, were you just chumped by LeBron James? Like, that's not how this works. <laughs> yeah. We're all collectively trying to win. Is Does he have seven milkshakes? Oh, he absolutely does. <laughs> Double milkshake? <laughs> and he's lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> Where are their parents? <laughs> <laughs> I like I like adult like <laughs> childish activities. Yeah. In, for, in like an adult kind of setting, like mm -hmm. they're playing poker or something, but it's go fish cuz it's the only thing you understand at 10. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he had seven this milkshakes, make it a double. It's all just very like, mm -hmm. it's cute. I feel confident to say at this point, this is just a great movie. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> so you just rewatched MVP. How does this compare? Do you think it's better so far? This is way better. <laughs> this is so much better than the first one. How much footage of this monkey skin did they get? How, how many times <laughs> did they make this chimp do that? Well, it's the car jackets. So it's probably the same shoot, I'd assume. It's the exact same team. This is one of those can it, one of those hockey leagues where they only play one other team all season. Is yeah. that accurate, by the way? Do the cheerleaders have to stand on the steps because there's no way for them to stand? Uh, no. They they typically have their own zone, but most oh. teams don't have cheerleaders anymore. Oh, he's a dad, though. <laughs> <laughs> Having a midlife crisis because he's dropped down the depth chart <laughs> due to a monkey. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Jack but he sees Louis. that Jack has a family too. I mean, if he hatched a plot to deliver Jack back to where he's from, <laughs> he would actually be the hero of the movie. He would. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be a bad guy. Be a good guy. Be a good guy. Oh. <laughs> I want to know what other movies this guy has done. I'm on it. <laughs> Oliver was in MVP2. You want to go for some milkshakes? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh, wow. You were right, Gavin. <laughs> oh, my God, Gavin. <laughs> Are they wearing identical leather jackets? <laughs> no, slight differences. <laughs> so why is he so pissed off about playing with a monkey on this team if he's pissed it <laughs> off? Ian Bag, the comedian, is in this movie? That's funny. Uh, the kids are back. <laughs> Kids seem really pissed off to be <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the guy that plays Rob, Rob Poirier, has been in 90 uh -huh. things. Wow. Damn. He is still working. He's in a show called Narco Leap right now, whatever the fuck that is. So much as many things as Mr. Dr. Peabody. <laughs> He's in 100 things I've never heard of, so they must all be Canadian, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
All the teams clicking. Jack and Poirier are friends now. Everything's great. Free bananas. Unstoppable. Looks like he's holding his dick. Sort <laughs> learning how to figure skate. <laughs> was that a, a guy in a, in a chimp suit, do you think? I, I think it was maybe Jack, but sped up. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> the extra's going all out. Yeah. Oh, even the goalie's getting in on it, because why not? Fuck it. <laughs> Safe <laughs> shot again. So the goalie has a goal, but that Poirier guy doesn't? Is that what's happening? I think yeah. Poirier scored. I think he just came back. Um, I think he's scoring now that they're friends. When do you think he starts skateboarding? <laughs> I think soon. I'm going to say within the next 10 minutes, we're okay. going to get on a skateboard. There are El Simeon far... Nature Preserve and El Simeon El Simeon. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's just a box of cash? <laughs> Another game against the carjackers. <laughs> Another money saving game. <laughs> oh, but he's got a plan. Eric's favorite character has a plan. Uh oh. <laughs> They're sick of losing. <laughs> oh. Are they going to send him to skateboarding? This is how I remember the movie opening. <laughs> <laughs> we could have just died here. <laughs> we could have. Oh, uh, said. So, mm. Oh. Oh, the pucks. Like the first movie. The pucks is kind of around the net. Everyone's all tied up. Watch out, Jack. Jack, look out. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the shit. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to say Jack bit him, but it's just mm -hmm. ketchup. What's going on? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jack's like, no. Is biting a penalty in hockey? Uh... Yeah, it would be a penalty, but I don't. You wouldn't get thrown out of the league for it. Have you? Uh, have, are you aware of anybody biting anybody else in the history of the NHL? Yeah, the, there was Alex Burrows bit a, a player while on the Canucks. <laughs> he got a penalty. <laughs> They're taunting. Look how well he skates. It happened on, and not only has happened in the NHL, Jeff. It happened in this arena. It happened on this. <laughs> <rink. laughs> so Jack's not the first person to bite somebody in hockey. I he predated Burrows, but yeah. yeah. It's happened. I feel like he's paying a heavier penalty than Burroughs probably did. Oh, definitely. Undeniably. <laughs> Everybody turns sad. on him. Oh, he's sad. Cool. Poor fucking chip. He was the hero of Seattle. That <laughs> boy of <laughs> chimp. <laughs> God, think about what you're doing, audience. Ugh. <laughs> Monkeys and animal. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's the, the the henchman in the first movie that's with right next to the coach. His assistant coach was the assistant villain. Oh, oh really? Oh. First film. Let yeah. me see. No, oh, we'll, never, we'll never see him again. Good. It's good. Jack doesn't want. <laughs> Jack doesn't want this. He's hurt. Yeah, he's hurt. He's been unfairly maligned. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> so Jack just leaves and is now homeless. <laughs> In Seattle. <laughs> it's Seattle. <laughs> Looks really comfortable for him to walk in those shoes. <laughs> God damn. That's the way Jack walks is how I walk in the morning when I get out of bed. My, <laughs> my arthritis is fucking in full effect. He walks like the world is covered in Lego. Yeah, that's me walking to take a piss at 6 30 in the morning. <laughs> I just love that he doesn't go home, he just decides to live in the streets. Well, he's fucking, he's probably a lot of self-loathing going on, you know, and he doesn't quite understand. That's fair. He did something, people think he did something wrong, but he doesn't know what he did wrong because he didn't really bite anybody. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I, I want to know where he thinks he's from. <laughs> <Thank you>. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> BFI. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but for that looks really comfy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and now oh, he just went right by. Oh, he just passes him. Well, let this be a lesson to anybody watching this film, us included. If you lose a chimpanzee in the city, check the trash cans. <laughs> yeah. Check the dumpsters. Like a lot of a lot of use out of that space needle. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Shit. Jack. <laughs> Where are they <laughs> <just> stealing? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I guess you're... <laughs> <laughs> so they're not actually gonna He's empty the time. trash can, they're just gonna drive <laughs> just them. <laughs> Inefficient trash emptying <laughs> company in the world. They do them one by one. <laughs> He's loving it. Oh, he's having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> the building in the alley is going to be pissed. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, oh, there's Bob Burnquist. Ah, oh, something else for me to be really good at. Mm hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hey! shit, he's back! <laughs> Chan <laughs> Channeling his Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> I like this is the second time he's held a wanted poster with Jack on it, but as different characters. Okay, it's a printing. Okay, I was gonna say, what what is that business? When someone says hot off the presses, I don't expect them to literally mean it. What did that kid go there for? To check in, to hang. Oh, the, to that's hang how he the makes reward. money. He, yeah, he just works the, there. Yeah. Well, he's homeless, Gavin. You got to you got to use two pieces of tape. That's not gonna stay long. <laughs> this kid's not gonna keep his job. Staples is a good move. Yeah, that's better. Oh, uh, more than one, though. This kid. <laughs> you don't know what he's doing. <laughs> she looks like she skates. <laughs> is that? It's the home awesome. improvement guy. Yeah, it's Richard oh. Karn. It's Richard Karn, oh, Richard. right? <laughs> yeah. Classic skateboard guy, Dick Karn. <laughs> I like that he even drinks out of a skateboarding coffee mug. Yeah, hell yeah. Give me that World Industries mug. Attention to detail. <laughs> Oliver Plant. Great acting. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a great actor. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. 
Do you feel like they cut to a close up there because he couldn't stack two yes. together? <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> I don't even know. Well, I guess yeah, he can skate. I'd be surprised if he kick flip. There we go. He's learned. Nah, I mean he he seems to know what he's doing. I mean, yeah. More than I ever did. I feel like every kid <laughs> in the world can skate that well. <laughs> Is this downtown Seattle? <laughs> like where, <laughs> where, where does this fit? This is where the kids with families live. <laughs> Family Street. He, yeah. Jack is going to walk and see a bunch of monkey families doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> like grilling bananas in the front yard. <laughs> I think I had that Quicksilver hoodie. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you still do. I'll try and find a picture. Be an amazing find. I feel like that guy's in a lot of stuff, but always as, as, as that cop. character, as <laughs> Seattle's <laughs> finest. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he would have stopped Macaulay Culkin at some point. He looks like Richard Kind's stunt double. Yeah. He's a big Simeon's fan. <laughs> he actually is. <laughs> so that's in Oakland? What? I think. No, that's that real life. In... Do you think that. No, <laughs> uh, wait. Isn't the Simeon. Wasn't the. Jeff. Where's the Simeon <laughs> animal Jeff. preserve at? I, th I think it's supposed to be in like San Francisco. <laughs> so I was close when I said Oakland. <laughs> no, you confused a thing from a movie with a real life thing. <laughs> well, I just I'm just saying like the Simeon Animal Sanctuary is supposed to be like in Oakland or wherever, but it doesn't look like it. I don't know. I'm just wondering where they filmed it. <laughs> Wait, it's supposed to be in Oakland? I don't think well, it in is. The, in, the movie, in the first movie, in the first movie, they mentioned San it was in Francisco. San Francisco or Oakland. I remember that. Uh, I paid attention to the presentation. I don't think that was in the presentation. I thought you were saying that the real monkey went to Oakland. Yes. Oh, yeah. The real monkey. <laughs> yeah, the real monkey ended up in Oakland. <laughs> That's the confusion. I still think I'm supposed to believe that that place is somewhere in California. <laughs> Apparently San Francisco. Is that Aaron Carter? Or Ryan... What's the name of that young skateboarder? Sheckler? Ryan Sheckler. Oh, yeah, is, that Ryan Ryan, Sheckler. is that Ryan Sheckler? I, d I doubt it. Let's see. I think it might be young Ryan Sheckler. Oh, it's a monkey board. Oh, I know this song. This is a, yeah. band, this is a band called Death on Wednesday. It's a 90s I think that's Sheckler. epitaph or Fat Records punk band. Airquake. That's actually a pretty good song. I think he's I think that kid is a professional skateboarder. Uh I'm looking. I think that's Sheckler. So what's the deal this guy's trying to make with this kid? He's gonna give it to him if something happens. I don't I think I think, I think he he's just he like and... knows this kid can't afford a skateboard thing, so he's just gonna put this thing in the dumpster and the kid can have it. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably Jack's a cameo. It's like Chad Muska or something. <laughs> I just don't know. He's uncredited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a skateboarding appearance. Uh, Tyler Vince, Jordan Hoffett, Nathan Lacoste, and Rob Boyce. I don't see any... Well, Burnquist is in this, so you'd think that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's it. listed as Burnquist, though. The squeak in the shoe always gets me. <laughs> oh, wait, kid number one at skateboard place, Danny Hag, or Haig. Mm. 
Huh. Okay. Oh, 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 never mind. Neil what? Nellis, Ryan Sheckler. There you go. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. He just had Good a name. Cool. That, that character had a, has a name, I guess, so we'll see him again. Yeah, Ryan Sheckler. Is this Damn, a lifeguarding movie? <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing, the thing to learn about this is chimpanzees are multifaceted. Mm-hmm. And they can't be put into a box. Unless that box is a dumpster. <laughs> 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 so Ali doesn't mean my status. That's me in five years. <laughs> oh, that's where he lives. <laughs> Richard Kind's name is Ollie. Yeah, his name's Oliver Plant. Ollie I think Plant, it's a, yeah. I think it's supposed to be two, like... Skateboarding references. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little freaking tech deck thing. <laughs> those were great. I love those. I didn't like the feel of the grip on my fingertips. Really? Yeah. Were you ever able to do a trick with nah, them? Nah, it was dog shit. Yeah, it was terrible, too. Oh, <laughs> his mom. That's his Louis. That is his Louis. Who's paying the electricity bill? I'm I'm glad you're here to ask the hard hitting questions. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Louis, the monkey Louis, or sorry, the chimpanzee Louis was played by Louis. Oh, checks cool. out as himself. Yeah, he played by himself. Different Louis though. <laughs> Once again, Space Needle. I can't believe the first half an hour of this skateboarding movie was about hockey. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had to tie up some loose ends from the yeah. first movie. Had to show him getting drafted. That's what I like about these movies is they, they focus in on the details that don't matter at all. <laughs> they really invest in them. Much like MVP1, he wakes up to discover a sport that he likes. I don't know if he likes skateboarding yet i guess we haven't seen that you can always tell in a cheap movie a set that's been painted for the movie and that uh, that is what we are looking at here you weren't buying oh, the absolutely. muck on the bottom of that pool <laughs> no i'm not buying the muck <laughs> i'm not buying the walls <laughs> fucking <laughs> jack wears etnies i love it <laughs> jack proves <laughs> You feel like the kid bails and then Jack gets the skateboard. How is he going to get on this board? Hmm. Yeah, he's going to have to stack it somewhere, isn't he? What's up? I gotta say, I don't know how anybody could think Jack could bite anyone. That is the ki that monkey has the sorry that chimpanzee has the kindest face. Yeah, but I think they do constantly <laughs> bite people and rip people's oh, and, penises in off. In real life, yeah, yeah. this is a real life. <laughs> this is movie Seattle. <laughs> it's a totally different magical world. <laughs> What if this kid also had a connection to a hepatitis lab? Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a magical world where this kid is on the streets and not on heroin. And everyone's <laughs> chugging milkshake. Yeah. Now, Andrew. Is this the fifth? Yes. You saw this movie and you were uh, motivated, you were uh, inspired mm -hmm. to learn how to skateboard because of Jack. Was yep. it because of you thought like if the monkey did it, I could do it? Or was it because if you thought if I learned how to skateboard, I could get a monkey friend who will come and skateboard? <laughs> no. So I think we're going to see, I assume, within this scene why I believe that I could instantly skateboard. Okay. I like the idea of learning to skateboard to get the monkeys. To get a, Andrew's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. this is how I'm going to get a friend. Step one. <laughs> Buy a skateboard. That was the smallest bite of a banana I've ever seen. 
I feel you're qualified to make that judgment too. Thank you. Banana eaten, guy? Eating a few. Bananas I can eat right now. They're soft. So see, Jack is like, I don't, I'm going to lick this wheel. I don't even know what this is. He's like, sure. Fucking throw your board. <laughs> <See ya. laughs> oh, God. It's so impressive and so sad at the same time. Yeah. It was at this moment I thought I could skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to teach Henry how to ride a skateboard, but Emily was not having it. <laughs> oh. That would have been great. I think you gotta, you gotta start young with that kind of stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. I was always annoyed that I couldn't skateboard. Really? Yeah. I was always annoyed I couldn't skateboard better. Like, I, like what, what they're doing now on that, like, if, I, if you said go down that ramp and end up at the bottom of that pool on it, I could not do it. For, if I offered you $1,000, <laughs> you couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would Shut try. Up. Oh, I can teach zero... you how to do it in five minutes. There's nothing hard nope. about that. No, I would. I'm just immediately going to Gavin. On does it do falling? Trying to push you, Jeff. You yeah, you saw me. Like, you saw me trying uh, to run with <laughs> sticky his own shoes. Feet on. don't work. Yeah, you with wheels, I guess, is not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you. You don't look. You don't look comfortable on a bicycle either. <laughs> when we ride, now that I think about it. Well, the freaking brakes are the wrong way for a start. Are we breaking in? What are we doing? Oh, the the garbage, the ollies, back at ollies. <laughs> can you imagine being thrown into the streets oh. because somebody thinks that you bit someone but needing to be like morally clear that they're not stealing like it's the <laughs> same so did he walk out of the ice hockey place like 10 seconds before they checked that guy's hand I get yeah like what investigation are they doing because it was yeah. ketchup there's not <laughs> it wasn't the deepest move Are we buying this guy's hair? Is that real? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good I, question. What when did this came out in 2001, right? So what was he doing in his career at that moment? Probably Family Feud or this is probably right before was, he was doing Family Feud, right? In oh, he did. Yeah, I forgot about that. 1000, he was When did Home Improvement end? Oh, you know what? He was also in Air Bud 7th inning fetch. So he might be all over this world. Dude, this director's loyal to his cast. Home Improvement was on from 91 to 99, so this was his follow-up to Home Improvement. <laughs> <laughs> he was in... Yeah, yeah. Dang. Is that Gatorade? What is that? I wonder what that feels like. It is Gatorade. I've what, never seen a Gatorade bottle look like that. I wonder what it feels like to film nine years of a major television show uh one of the one of the <laughs> most successful comedies on tv for the nine years it was on and then to follow it up with a straight to video monkey skateboard movie <laughs> <laughs> man fuck entertainment Oh, he was also in Snow Buddies. <laughs> and Air Buddies. God damn, Richard Same Carnes. character? Or is he's, it like different? Uh, <laughs> different characters, I think. Okay. He's all over the place with uh, animals. These chips are honestly incredible. Like, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, the Space Needle. <laughs> you should make a fucking Space Needle drinking game in this movie. <laughs> Yupper dupper. Louis also wears Etnies. <laughs> I'd love to know what that guy's voice actually sounds like. <laughs> Do you think British chimps take their shoes off in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think if British chimps come in from the rain, they put their stuff in the warming closet? <laughs> the air <Aaron> cover. <laughs> 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 
fucking kid has, bring that? that kid has no idea what he's doing or why he's there. <laughs> I, I mean, I think you could ask that kid if he remembers working on this movie and he would say no. The disappointment on that kid's face <laughs> is kid's- generally because he didn't get to have a scene with the chimp. <laughs> So he's having none of this bullshit. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) I like his little duck like jacket. This is great. His little wellies. So the the monkey can spell. It's It's dead from the first movie. (laughs) That's actually where he lived. That guy's not alive, right? He just drives no. that truck from movie set to movie set. <laughs> like, y'all need an old guy? <laughs> He's actually on the way to old school right now. <laughs> He's like, I just tore the country playing bit parts. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to grab the windshield wipers. <laughs> you know that wasn't in the script, but it was so cute they left it in. I don't think that actor knows he's in a movie. I think they've informed him later. Pretty good bowls. Where are they getting this fresh milk? Is that dumpster milk? Yeah. <laughs> they, throw, they throw good stuff away. It's not stealing. There's no better milk than dumpster milk. Oh, he makes money. He probably bought the milk. He's got a little fridge in there. I forgot. He does the flyer thing. So far, he's not been very vertical. No. No. I feel like we have seen that alleyway nine different ways. (laughs) Definitely. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) You know, Gavin, if you never picked up that high-speed camera from your neighbor, (laughs) this this is who you would be right now. That would be me right now, age 34. (laughs) (laughs) I think I could be- become a scarf guy, like a, a wool yeah. jumper and scarf man. Oh, I yeah. can see you. Yeah, definitely. Inappropriate. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's a fucking cool guy. I got to say, so far, I think this movie's better than The Tuxedo. I think it is a way better movie than The Tuxedo. Oh, you might be I right. Mean, this alone. Are we about to get vertical? <laughs> I think it's about to become vertical. I think, I think we're about to go vertical. <laughs> <laughs> I love this fucking soundtrack. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I remember being so excited watching this as a kid. Like, I legitimately couldn't do any of this. Oh, no. I learned I couldn't. Are the shoes, like, drilled into the skateboard? Yes, okay. yes they are. This, this is, is crazy. This is death on Wednesday is- again. <laughs> Why was it more? <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. He hit the camera there. I'm going to buy everybody a copy of this album so you can all take MVP2 with you wherever you go. <laughs> Sounds great. I like to imagine that the other, the camera guy also on a skateboard. Just this must look so (laughs) funny from a behind the scenes perspective. Oh, he did that. He did that. And they're not even like pulling it on string. He's like doing this. (laughs) Dude, fucking look back like a cool ass monkey right there. See, this is him after like one day of practice. So I was like, oh, I got this. (laughs) (laughs) That looks so uncomfortable. If you could have be exactly like you are now uh, in every way, 
Except you had the equivalent of human monkey hand feet. Would you take him? Monkey oh, yeah. feet? Yeah, like he's got, like, he's essentially got hands for feet. Yeah. Absolutely, I would. I think I would, too. <laughs> Why would he care? <laughs> that was a nice <laughs> moment. The wrong person ducked. <laughs> He's like, I gotta lay off the milkshakes. I'm starting to see stuff. Why is there all this skating equipment in this alley? <laughs> That's how grunge started, Gavin. Like a bolted down rail? Oh, yeah. It's just like Seattle was just like one big skate park. I hope the homeless guy moved. He was annoyed <laughs> before. <laughs> what if he moved to this alley? <laughs> I'm not buying that that kid could reach the fire escape ladder. I really like that he left hockey hurt and is now just continuing to stay in this lifestyle because he's a skate monkey now. He did, loves they have a, did they make a skating game? Because that would have been awesome. Like, was this no, chip not. ever a character in Tony Hawk or anything? No, that would have been great. <laughs> Mm, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> this is who we have protecting our streets in America. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's all tuckered out from that half a block. <laughs> oh, we're still still got Ned and Louie. <laughs> 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 this is my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's okay, ma'am. I can I'm allowed to break and enter. I'm a police officer. <laughs> Where's the shit? <laughs> There's a <laughs> What notes? Oh no. Padlock still works, huh? Yep. He hit it with his unlocking stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was what I looked like when I tried. <laughs> I feel like Jack could probably run faster. Ah, shit. Does so that ever happened to you, Jeff? Have I ever snapped a board in half? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. How long, how long does a skateboard I, last? And that's what I did afterwards, too. I fucking took my helmet off and cried. <laughs> uh, it depends on how you skate with it. A skateboard can last forever, uh, but if you're if you fucking... you grind stuff. If you're grinding and uh, doing rail slides and shit, you're, you're going to snap it sooner or later. Also, the longer a skateboard exists... Uh, the more like I don't know the less pop it has and the more brittle it becomes so it's like at some point you just want to trade out a skateboard anyway because it's just like fucking just past its useful date it's expired Best Buy (laughs) 
<laughs> See? That's what I told you. <laughs> I should have just waited before I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm excited for them to get their little asses down to Airquake or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jack's like, fuck you, loser. I'm out. <laughs> He walks just like Jack. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Watching this kid and this monkey walk around like this, it makes me finally feel, <laughs> feel represented. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he gets into shit. Glad they inserted that. They actually didn't know they were in a movie. They were just buying. It was just a dad and his kid <laughs> buying a skateboard. They were so shocked when they went back the next week and it was just no longer a business. Everyone's gone. <laughs> They're like, was I in a fucking movie? <laughs> oh, Ollie's closed down. Wow. Me too. My career. I was in home improvement for nine years. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that this guy represents skateboard shop owners, Jeff, in your experience? How how accurate of a portrayal? This is who here? this is who <laughs> This is going to sound so mean, but Richard Card in this movie is who Major League fan Jack would be in a different career. Like yeah, this would, uh, yeah, be, this yeah. would be this is who I see owning that skateboard shop. <laughs> Jack Patillo in a different uh, with a, like four different decisions made in his life. <laughs> I bet he'd be good at it. Hell yeah, I'd be good at it. Richard Carn is yeah. good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monkey board. Say, say thanks. thanks or anything. Say thanks. Nope. Sure, I guess. Oh, that thing has pop. Look at oh, the pop. Oh, that is. <laughs> That's probably all Ryan Sheckler. I have a hard time believing that this child went on to make 98 things. <laughs> the other actors. That's <laughs> 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 the worst reaction I've ever seen. <laughs> well, you got like one toe in each <laughs> mouse trap. <laughs> yeah. They had to bring the fucking world industries coffee mug over from the skate shop Oh, this is creepy. Oh, yeah. His name's Ben. Have we heard. Yeah, I was about to say, I, have we heard his name yet? I was literally about to ask what the kid's name is. I, don't, <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I don't see this kid what, what? what is this kid's name? Ben? Ben Ben He's not listed as top cast in the movie Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Reporter 2 and 3 are though what the fuck? <laughs> Ben. 
Ben is Scott Goodman. And he, uh, oh. oh, he was only in this movie. This is yeah. the, he was in this. <laughs> yeah. He was in this and the behind the scenes featurette. <laughs> Checks out. Probably got a normal job. He's probably a similar age to me. He got a normal job, except he could say, <laughs> he was I was the movie. lead role in a monkey movie, and that's all I did in the film industry. The one piece of trivia for him is, uh, did you know he attends Lakewood High School in Lakewood, California, and will be entering his <laughs> senior year? What that was written. <laughs> Still going. Oh, God, the monkey's driving. Oh, no. Louie's driving now. <laughs> He's 35 now. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not still in high school. <laughs> okay. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Is this squ- Skate Quake Day? I'm so excited for the tournament. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, well, That's like I me mean, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't feel like this is Jack's portrayal in this movie at all. This feels this feels disconnected. <laughs> okay, cut. No, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I kind of like that they've ended up in Seattle by mistake. How is he sitting lower than the chimp? (laughs) (laughs) He was driving. Oh, carjackers are back. (laughs) How are the carjackers in the finals? They lost four fucking (laughs) games to the (laughs) Simeons. Andrew, can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. Do you... I don't want to know the answer because I want to be surprised, but do you remember mm-hmm. how this whole thing ends? How it shakes <laughs> no, out? No, I have no idea. So it's kind of like watching it for the first time. It is, yeah. This is essentially like watching for the first time. I have no memory so we could, of the ending. We could be in a situation where Louie becomes a hockey player and Jack be- keeps we skating. Um, <laughs> that might be a situation we're about I, to get in, Yeah, I, I think we're about to see this. It doesn't look like Jack, though. No. No. <laughs> he looks like a for sure. Do you think Louis is like lady from the animal sanctuary? Sorry, all <laughs> you humans look alike to me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, so was he suspended? What was the this? review? What was the investigation? Was there a penalty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, for God's sake. He fucking sucks. That's what's wrong. <laughs> he hasn't had all the training from the first movie. Oh, that's Ian Bag. Okay. The the blonde the Eastern dude? European guy? Yeah, the he's a stand up he's a stand up comedian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's an enforcer. Look, all the Louis on ice scenes are my favorite. <laughs> he threw this his rules. gloves down like a real <laughs> player yep. though. <laughs> he just wants to go. <laughs> he wants to eat the apples. <laughs> Do you think they had to find a chimp that they hadn't taught skating to? Yeah. Or did they have to teach him to be shit? I feel like probably teach them to be shit or like just instruct them to not <laughs> respond. <laughs> Jack's Louis gonna kill somebody. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. In the two team hockey league, they're members of. <laughs> <laughs> Airquake. It's pretty high up. <laughs> Sound effects are so good. Jeff, did you have a drop in from the, uh, higher than that? Uh, I have never dropped in from higher than like eight feet. Oh, okay. Do you see what happened when Dan did it? I did. He broke his fucking arm. <laughs> <laughs> and then I watched Tony Hawk make fun of him later on, a, on another video. <laughs> well, to be fair, Dan farted on him. <laughs> well, good. Nah, Tony Hawk was really nice. Okay. This guy needs to be playing it like 25% less creepy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is this the same band, Jeff? No, I think this is a band called Junction 18. If I'm if I'm correct. <laughs> I want to know where Red Sunglasses guy is. Yeah, the background really. of that. Oh, that's the uh, oh, that's the other him. He was the uh, yeah, yeah. He was the henchman in the first movie. Is, is Jack going to win a skate competition and then go win a hockey championship in the same afternoon? <laughs> I mean, only one of us would know. Sheckler. Oh, yeah. How old is Ryan Sheckler now? Well, let's see. Uh, he is uh, 32 years old. Wow. Do you just go until you fall? No. Probably. <laughs> ben Johnson. <laughs> Jackson Popcorn World. He does not. Nothing else exists right now. Yeah, that was, yeah. I love that he doesn't question Jack, like, just being there, that he's just cool with it. He's just riding out the, yeah, they're a package deal. <laughs> I'm not going to report that this chimp is just <laughs> existing in this world. <laughs> you better be scared to death, you little homeless nerd. Woo! 
Man, I could not do that. No. Uh, I could... I couldn't believe that Dan did it. I couldn't do it in my 40s. I can't believe Dan tried it at his age. Well, with, <laughs> I mean, like, with his level of experience, that's a really... That's a big deal. That's like, that's like three or four foot of straight vert down. What we didn't show in the video is the 40 minutes of everyone trying to talk about of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Including Tony Hawk. <laughs> Oh, Jack's going to be like the ice. Yeah, he's going to show him it's okay. I wonder how much of this movie was subsidized by Etnies, Thrasher, and World <laughs> Industries. Don't fall for it, kid. Just because Jack can do it doesn't mean you can. <laughs> do you think maybe you would have been a better skater if Jack had believed in you too? <laughs> I think so. I mean, that was what was missing. Mm hmm. Now we're back to death on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Way I call no road again. Is this the same song that was playing in the background? In yeah, Ollie's? it's this. It's the same so Death on Wednesday song, song over and over again. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure. The road on. Whoa. It's pretty vertical. <laughs> Would you say the most vertical? No, there was a monkey in a tree earlier that was way more vertical. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'd love to be able to ollie a gap like that. <laughs> There's no reporter in that shot. <laughs> I love Louis so much. Yeah, I gotta say, Louis kind of steal the, the star. movie. Yeah, yeah. oh, Louis great. This <laughs> <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> This guy's hairline's receding between scenes. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we wrap this movie up fast? <laughs> Bob Bergquist! Wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shittiest belt I've ever seen. Neil Nellis, that's uh, Ron Sheckler. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. There you go, Neil. Congratulations. <sighs> oh my God. Oh! <laughs> Now he doesn't have to be homeless anymore. What? <laughs> he won the movie. A Isn't that how dollars. movies work? He got a thousand dollars and a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Hey, everyone. This is my kid that I just met. <laughs> that's not that's not a reason to adopt a child I don't think you get to decide that son <laughs> yeah I think no, that I think, I think Jack gets a say as well right <laughs> 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 
Oh. <laughs> That's the best. This thing would be ever. such a good journey for thirty. Do you think it's ZHL stands for Zamboni Hockey League? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get on the skateboard. It's faster. <laughs> it's fine. C- cut him some slack, dude. He's got arthritis in his lower spine. It hurts. <laughs> Somebody should sponsor Whoa. fucking Bob Perkins for some acting lessons. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might be Bob Birdquest's only movie as well, coincidentally. <laughs> oh. Now we get to see what a professional skateboarder looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> it looks the same as when the monkey does it. Yeah. What's the... Mm. Jeff, could you do that? No. 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 <laughs> no, but I never really liked vert skating to begin with. Yeah. There you go. The burn twist. <laughs> Hey, I'm really curious about what's happening at the hockey game. Can we go to that instead? (laughs) We need to to watch Bob Burgos do the same trick eight more times. (laughs) I wonder if he was if he was offered the game, like the Tony Hawk game and this at the same time, which he would have viewed as more profitable. (laughs) Oh, wow. (laughs) Oh, same old lines. <laughs> Police escort. <laughs> so, does this cop know about the other chimp? No. no. I get. Well, I guess he's been following the game, so he must. <laughs> <laughs> this scene rules. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah, <laughs> Louis! <laughs> on the low. No, you never step on the logo. Yeah. Hockey 101. What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> They are. <laughs> I wonder how many members of the cast these chimps outlived. <laughs> <laughs> well, him. Definitely, definitely him. him. <laughs> that is a good question. How many people that were involved in, in this film are dead? It was, you gotta get Simeon's jerseys. I mean, it was 21 <laughs> years ago, right? 22 years ago? Mm-hmm. Oh, immediate goal. Oh, they made it? Is someone in the crowd just I mean, they weren't losing that badly. <laughs> it looked like it. I, I noticed that too. I've never seen a blanket at a hockey game. What? That guy's dead now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's teeth. I think it was his gum, but. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> so this is a hockey movie? I I guess. 
<laughs> I think it's hard to argue. It's it's more skateboarding than hockey. I'd say this yeah, it's is, more yeah. horizontal. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Did they feel like they had to make it a hockey movie for it to make sense? Well, here's the deal. We don't know how this how this story <laughs> was written. This might have been planned out from the from the beginning. Like it's for all we know it was written as a trilogy and they just never got to make the third movie. Mm. If I was a younger man with more time on my hands, I would write MVP fan fiction. I would expand the universe. I would tell more right. stories. Eric, could you... There, The guy that wrote this movie has a Twitter thread about the process of making it that's fantastic. Are, could you look that you up, Are you serious? Please? Yeah, it's really <laughs> funny. I don't remember what it was, but it is absurd. I don't... I don't what do I even search Just look up uh, the IMDb for who wrote it and then, like, maybe search his name and, like, oh MVP2 thread or something like that. It's great. I should have pulled that up. They did it. <laughs> this is more excited than real athletes are when they win the championship. This is this is fantastic. So same celebration. Is this a better movie than MVP one? Way better. So is this, this might movie, be the best movie I've seen this year. It's a uh, um, uh, yeah, I would agree with you there. It's a better movie in every no. way, with a better cast and more cameos. Yet it was straight to DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a good comedian? Uh, I've I've never seen his stand up. I've just heard him on podcasts. What He's pretty funny. Bill He's Bag a pretty funny something? dude. His name's uh, uh, Ian Bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like the Stanley Cup. That's great. I want to find out what happened with the investigation. None of those guys read hockey looking at them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, I put a for later. I put a. YouTube video. Fucking better. It's so weird. It's so creepy. Monkey's not here to protect you now. Wait, so this guy drove them back? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think he just drives right up to their sanctuary. <laughs> just let him in. Just pull it up next to their favorite tree. It won't freak him yeah. out at all. The address <laughs> tree six L Simeon L Simeon. <laughs> Wow. Really what a movie. Incredible stuff. Okay, in comparison to that, Dunstan Checks In is a good, good movie. No, that's way better than Dunstan Checks In. No way, way dude. Dunstan Checks In is a way better movie than MVP2. No. And I liked MVP2, but you are selling Dunstan Checks In no. short. I, I didn't like Jason it. Jason Alexander, incredible in Dunstan. I, I don't know. I want I feel, to like it a I feel lot. like... I Doorknobs in the middle of the doors, incredible. I don't, I don't want to get too single threaded with this whole thing, but I do feel like we need to watch Dunstan now at some point. Yeah, I think you're right. Great. I really do. So, <laughs> the thing that Andrew, glad that took nine months to watch. Uh, the thing that Andrew <laughs> asked for, uh, I found the thread of the guy who wrote MVP two, <clears throat> and I've linked it. 
in our chat. Oh, let me he talks a lot about like the monkey did his own stunts and he loved doing it. You couldn't smile at the monkey. The most interesting part to me is that this guy didn't know anything about hockey. The first MVP is all about <laughs> hockey and the plan was the same for the sequel. Changing up the main sport happened because I know so little about hockey, but I was into <laughs> skate culture as a teen. So I pitched switching hockey to skateboarding to keep the franchise fresh. I'd never <laughs> written a movie before, so I modeled my script on Pulp Fiction. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. They hired a guy to write a sequel to a hockey movie who didn't like hockey and had never written a movie. <laughs> Where is the similarity to Pulp Fiction in any way whatsoever? Structure, he modeled it plot, after like the runtime. My first oh. draft was 134 pages, which equals 134 minutes. The director referred to it as War and Peace with Chimps. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, remember when you were talking about the, the bowl, like the, the pool mm -hmm. or whatever? Yeah. yeah. He has a tweet about it. In the script, I wrote that the orphan kid lives in an abandoned swimming pool that he uses as a skate bowl, but they couldn't find a pool that worked, so they painted an actual skate bowl to look like an old swimming pool. Mm, yeah. The reverse. Yeah. That was pr pretty fucking clear there. So, like, wow. was the dumpster, like, the briefcase in Pulp Fiction? <laughs> <laughs> I like... I like that you couldn't smile at the monkey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, uh, he's, he's a great... He's a great actor, but if you smile at him, he'll rip your fucking face off. <laughs> just, like, just don't do it. We did it. We watched oh, the monkey it. movie, guys. So how do I'm we feel so about bad. Dunstan? Is that worth doing? I think so. At some maybe, point, yeah. Maybe in March? <laughs> I mean, I'd be much. honest, I love doing this supplemental content, and I wish we did it more often. I th feel yeah. like that's, it's hard, like, shooting myself in the foot by saying that because it ensures that we won't do it again for another four years, but, like, <laughs> I could do these re pretty regularly, and I feel like enough movies come by our way that are funny and interesting enough that we could justify it. Um, I'm not saying Dunstan should be the next movie, but I do think it should be <laughs> a movie. Yes, I completely agree with that. I like Monkey March, too. It's just as an idea. Oh, <laughs> oh, now that's interesting. Monkey March. Maybe we do a monkey movie a week in March. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll Ooh. do one movie a week. Yeah, that's I, what we'll do. What we love? <laughs> I also <laughs> got to say, after watching MVP 2 and your MVP 1 uh, synopsis, I no longer want to watch MVP 1. 100%. No, there's no reason to. Yeah, I feel like it cannot possibly hold up to what I just saw. Ooh, I think I have a... I have, a, I have a movie recommendation for uh, Monkey March, which isn't a real thing, but might become a real thing. Let me find a trailer quickly. Um, I don't even know if this is part of Should we wrap this up? I definitely e think we should. Yeah, but yeah. I want to see this trailer you're talking about. Okay, give me a second. Let me pull it up. I'll drop it in. It's, uh, it's the, a follow-up to this movie, but it's not specifically related. I showed this to Eric before. I've never seen this movie. I've had it recommended a lot by people in the audience. It's a film called Spy Mate. It's a James Bond like movie with Richard Kind as the main villain of the film, also starring a young Emma Roberts. Oh, yeah, that's right. Spy Mate. Spy, Spy Mate. Mate. I just dropped like, in our, our like chat. Spy Mate. All right. I'm going to watch, watch this watch one it. minute trailer. I think Louie, the, 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 the chip that played Louie in the movie, is also in this one as the main character. Only on DVD. It's like they're bragging about that out mm -hmm. the gate. <laughs> oh, wow. Good Lord. They're <laughs> 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 flying. Move over, James Bond. Move over, parody of James Bond. <laughs> Got sword fighting. Kicks Kung the guy. Fu fold out skateboard. <laughs> uh, is that is that Mr. Miyagi? Is that Pat Morita? <laughs> I I don't know. I think they definitely want you to think that. Bye, mate. <laughs> uh, that looks awesome. <laughs> it looks fantastic. 2006. Why, why wouldn't we watch that? I think it has to go on the list. When did Real Chimps get hoisted out of the movie industry? I don't I, know. Relatively recently, I think, right? Or like, what? Yeah. Are we talking any type of monkey? Because you think like The Hangover had a, had a real 
monkey in it? Bubbles, mm. I believe that one is called. I just looked up when did we stop doing chimp movies, and <laughs> it is a PETA article from 2020 saying a decade ago there were at least a dozen chimpanzees working in Hollywood. There are officially no more chimpanzees in Hollywood hey. as of July 2020. Okay. So, yeah, it's very recent. That's great. Horses, though, still fine. <laughs> That movie, Spy Mate, has Barry Bostwick in it, Richard Kind in it, Pat Morita, and Emma Roberts. What a f- and Louie, the monkey. What a fucking cast. <laughs> I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to watch it either. Well, uh, there you go, audience. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this watch along of MVP two most val sorry most vertical primate. <laughs> I want to make sure I get that right. And hopefully, you will tune in sometime in the near future for uh, Spy two thousand three's. Uh, Air Bud Entertainment presents Spy Mate. He's a spy and he's a primate. Spy Mate. And uh, then sometime in the uh, distant future, maybe in Monkey March, we will watch Dunstan Checks In. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Uh-huh.